everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are diving into some WWE action figure news type sort of discussion deal right here. <coughs> oh my god in heaven, what is that? Excuse me. Today, guys, I do want to dive into sort of, a, again, a news slash discussion style video, and I want to know down below if you guys even appreciate, do you guys like the ones where I just sit down and we talk a little bit, I pop up images on the screen, do you like it when I'm behind the camera, do you like a mixture of both? Please let me know down below, because I'm kind of a one where like I kind of like to see somebody that I like to watch just kind of sit down and discuss different topics. Honestly, like if the if the creator is good enough or I enjoy them enough, I'll sit there and just listen to them talk about anything, especially wrestling figure or action figure or, or WWE, AEW related. So please let me know down in the comment section below. But today, guys, we're diving into some big news. I got to pull up some images for myself right quick because this is absolutely insane. As we saw yesterday, if you guys don't follow Ringside Collectibles on Instagram, you definitely should. But yesterday, guys, they posted up images of the Ultimate Edition Undertaker and Kane figures. If you guys remember, we did see the, the I guess, the prototype images of these figures. We discussed them a little bit. I think we saw renders before. We may not have seen renders. It may have just been straight up prototypes or samples or whatever the hell you want to call that. But, you know, when they first showed them off, big disappointment. I thought that, you know, uh, a lot of people were like, eh, and, you know, they were kind of on the fence about them. But today, guys, we're going to dive into those images and we're going to discuss a few things because Mattel said, you know what, Brad? Bradley, I, I, you know what, they, they listen. They actually listen to us, and I know they do that a pretty good deal. I think it's a, they have a pretty good proven track record of listening to the fans and what we want and then changing things moving forward or slightly tweaking this or tweaking that. Now, don't get me wrong, they don't bat 1,000. However, I don't think anybody really does, you know? Like, uh, they're not perfect. There's no company out there that makes perfect action figures every single time, so I think they have a, an amazing track record in the figures and hundreds and thousands of figures that I have in this room prove that. So let's dive into it, man. Pulling up first, we do have the mock image here, and it doesn't look that bad, right? It, like, the body doesn't look as bad, which we'll get into. We're gonna dive into that here, but I like the mock image. I think it would have been cool to pose them like this for some reason. I don't know why that's coming to my brain, but if you notice one thing specifically, guys, let's dive into the head sculpt. Now, pulling up both head sculpts, so you guys will notice on the left, you have your, your new image that we saw, and then on the right, we have the older Michael Jackson looking figure, and so so what they did, this figure got a ton of flack online. Like it, it got a a crazy amount of flack online when they revealed that weird image with like the beard and it looked weird. And then you got you know the eye makeup and it kind of it looked like Michael Jackson. It legitimately looked it looked like Michael Jackson. This figure got a really bad rep, but it looks like they have tweaked it and it looks so much better, man. Like it looks so much better. I think the likeness to Undertaker is totally there now, and it looks really good. I'm actually very excited about the figure now. I was not excited whatsoever. I was like, oh, head sculpts suck. They have like these newer looking takers on this old taker body. Body looks disproportionate or whatever. But I actually found another image online of it standing there. And it doesn't look that bad standing here in the natural. Now, it was like kind of a screenshot taken of a phone off a computer screen. It does look like. But this figure looks pretty good. Like, yeah, I mean, I guess the upper torso is maybe a tad wider. But I don't think it's that bad. It actually, I don't think it looks that bad at all, honestly. Like, it looks pretty damn good. I like the boot mold that we're getting here. I think that the proportions of it. Now, in certain images, I think like this one, I think it does look a bit off, I would say. I think it does look a bit off. But when you look at the figure from the back, I don't think it looks that bad. And then when it's down on its knee doing, you know, this whole deal here, doesn't look that bad either. However, it does have the screaming head sculpt, or not the screaming, the tongue out head sculpt, which isn't accurate for the time. And then the one with the hair slick back, I'm not a big fan of because it's clearly an older looking taker. And the head show, the head head shapes really change a lot, and I'm pretty sure, I think this is the head sculpt that came on the ringside exclusive Kane as Undertaker, or Undertaker as Kane figure, if you guys remember that. I'm pretty sure that's a thing, so I don't know, man. You guys can let me know what you think of that one down in the below. Like, I think the improvements look good, and I'm actually excited to use this. I might even use this at My Damn Nation. Who knows? I might use this in the Fed. We'll have to kind of play around with that, see what comes of it, how I like it, and everything like that. You also have the rubber coat, which again, we'll see, and we'll just have to get into it. I think these figures should be at my door very soon, so we'll see about that. But let's dive into the Kane figure. So the Kane figure looks fantastic. I really like the Kane. I think the Kane is superior to the Undertaker. If we had to take, uh, you know, if we had to pick and choose, I would definitely choose the Kane over the Undertaker. I think the head sculpts look really nice. One thing that I love about the figure is they gave him the bigger arms. It looks like they also gave him bigger shoulders. And they sculpted on the belt. And the belt looks incredible.
incredible. So the belt looks really good sculpted on there. Uh, I, I like the way the butterfly joints are hidden. Like you can't really see them that well. So that's really cool. I just think the figure looks stout, man. It looks like a beefy figure. Like he, he looks like a, an animal. I may have to paint up the mask a little bit, but I think overall figure looks freaking sweet. There is, however, one thing that I hate about this figure. I think head to toe figure looks great. But if you look at this image, man, look in the elbow pit right here when the arms are bent. Why in the hell did they do this? I don't know why they did this. It's very off-putting. Um, I feel like uh, this this wasn't necessary. I don't know why you couldn't just mold the, the elbows or the arms in, in red. I don't know. Like, I know the left arm is skin tone, but I'm pretty sure we've seen a red arm with, you know, the joints painted or the joints molded in red before, and then the other side molded in skin tone. I'm pretty sure we've seen that from Kane figures in the past, so I don't know why they would do it here and kind of make that assumption. This does come off the Ringside Collectibles review. You know, they did do an unboxing of the figures because they came in the warehouse, so they did a little quick review. Put them up on Ringside Collectibles YouTube channel and all of those different things, but I am not really feeling that, man. I don't know why that would be a thing, and I really don't know how you fix this. One thing you could do is possibly switch the lower arm with one of the Elite Canes, but that's not going to fix your upper arm deal. That's not going to fix your elbow deal with the, you know, it's double jointed, so you got to cover both sides. They're both in skin tone there, and I don't know why that is, and I don't, like, I want to use this in the pick fed, but that's a really, like, that bothers me that bad, and the only way that I could get over that is if I edited every single picture that the cane showed that, and I might have to do that. Like, honestly, I might have to do that, like, color it in or whatever, because that is a pretty bothersome deal for me. However, the figure looks so damn good, man. You got the freaking cape. I love the cape. The cape looks sick AF. I think the head sculpts look good. I like the double joint arms. Again, they're beefy. They look nice. You even have, like, this choke slamming style hand or, like, an open hand that looks like it's a molded glove that looks really, really good, at least from this image here. Just a really nice looking figure. I hope that apparently it does scale well with the Elite 12 Kane. I think it's like a perfect height comparison. I think they are the exact same height, which is really cool. But I did want to get on here, praise Mattel, and show off this figure because I think the sculpts are really nice. The the just overall presentation of these figures looks really good, and I'm really excited for them. Like, I think these are going to be some of the best, or at least Kane. I know Kane is going to be up there. I know he has the elbow pit deal, which we discussed, but he looks incredible, and it gets me really excited. Like, the boots, they went over the top with the boots, tooled new boots. They gave him a slick look. They did the same thing for Undertaker. They do have the same boots there with the cape and the mask and everything going on with it. These figures look incredible. You also get the WWF Championship, which is a whole deal. Like, I'm, I think it's cool that we're, we are getting that, but new head sculpts for Kane. I think this is the best head sculpt for Kane, the one with the with the hair uh, over his face there. Maybe a little bit wide. I feel like Kane, his hair wasn't like that wide, so that kind of bothers me. Like, if you look on the back of the packaging, it does look like Kane's hair. That's about what I imagine Kane. Like, it was kind of straight down there, and I think it could look a bit better. However, I still really like the Kane. I think it looks great. You get the, you know, the voice changer or whatever the deal is, which is going to be like the third time we've seen that, but I understand it. I get what they were going for. I think it would have been cool to see, like, some other accessories, but I will uh, totally accept this, and I think the figure looks really insane. So, Kane and Undertaker both look cool, but I think it's really sick to see them change the Undertaker head sculpt. Like, they could have just said, screw you, Brad, and just gave it to us anyway, but they wanted to make it right, and I think it looks good, and they must be praised for that. Can't wait to review these figures. I think they are going to be coming in very, very soon, which should be awesome. I think they're actually shipping right now. If you pre-ordered them early, they should be on their way to your door right now, but I'm so glad that they changed Undertaker from Michael Jackson to actually looking like Undertaker. Really strong head sculpt, and I think that should be praised there, man, but I can't tell because of the elbow pads if the Undertaker has the jacked arms like Kane. I think that would be a really big thing as well. I'll also probably play around with some head swaps to see what it looks like, see if one of my takers that I like going on this figure makes it look good. Also, that'll kind of come into play when choosing if I want to use these figures or not, or maybe I'll just have to make an Ultimate Edition with freaking... Because, like, this Undertaker doesn't have butterfly joints unless that top part is actually, like, molded, like a plastic piece or something, or like a rubber piece, which I don't think it is. But I may have to make my own hybrid Ultimate Edition Undertaker or something. But anyways, man, let me know down below what you guys think of the Undertaker and the Kane figures. I'm really excited for them. I think they look fantastic. Super happy. Like, I think that totally changes the Undertaker figure. Like, I, I had it as the fifth worst uh, Ultimate Edition, I think, back when I ranked the top five worst Ultimate Editions. And now, I think that would be removed from that. I think that that would be totally revamped. If I had to pick another one, uh, it's not really coming to my head right now, but Undertaker would probably be off that list, because I like the way the figure looks now, and we'll have to see how the postability and stuff goes, but I think that pretty much 
covers up what I wanted to cover in today's video, man. If you guys wanted to order them, definitely go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS and save yourselves 10%. Wrestlingfigures.com is another. I think if you put wrestlingfigures.com into the IP, it will pop up straight up. Or you could just Google Ringside Collectibles and it'll take you to their website. Use code MDTOYS and save yourselves 10% over there. But I'm getting out of here, man. Just wanted to get on here and talk to you guys about Undertaker and Kane Ultimate Editions. Let me know what you think of them down below and please let me know if you enjoy the discussion style videos like this or do you enjoy the you know the images over the screen with my voice in the background or would you like me to do something else thought about pulling a floosh if you guys follow the floosh on youtube thought about doing a green screen deal where i would stand and then the figures would appear like big beside me let me know if you'd be interested in that but i'm getting out of here guys thank you for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok and my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video don't cross the line like michael jackson did he was trying to sneak into our wwe elite slash ultimate edition lines can't let them can't be crossing over in there, man. Trying to sneak one on me? You cross the line. You cross